your children is not because there's a woman who made a mistake. You don't take care of your children as a man because you are useless. It is a deep revelation. You're not taking care of your children. It's not because a woman interfered. You're giving up on your children. It's not because their mother did wrong. It's, I am of the opinion that when a relationship becomes abusive, separation is inevitable. When people begin to harm themselves and hurt themselves, then you can go your separate ways. But the child must be catered for. Any man that cannot take care of his children is not a father. He is a donor. He is a donor. All he did was an IVF procession. He, a father is responsibility. This man never abdicated. You can't say because, listen to me, can I say this to you? Fatherhood, fatherhood, responsibility of the father is not caught instructed. It's not caught instructed. It is conscience regulated. It's not caught instructed. It is conscience regulated. How can you be a man? And they are dragging you to court for child support. They are dragging you to court to take care of your children. You have abandoned your manhood. Am I talking to somebody here? That they have to drag you to court. They have to remind you, you have not sent money. If your child has not eaten, you are not permitted to eat. If your child has no clothes on the back, you should go naked. Any man that can take care of his child is not a man, he's a man. Some of you say, you came out, you are saying your children, the mother has condemned them. The mother didn't condemn them. They watched you. They watched how you didn't care for them. They watched how you didn't show rest. Children are observant. My biological daughter sent me a message today. Tears came out of my eyes. There was some long voice note. She was saying certain things I was not aware of. And she was saying a lot and a lot. I didn't know when I started crying. There are things children are watching. They know when you are there for them. There are children that are grateful. They have gratitude. And she said, the Lord, this is my own child appreciating me as if she's an adopted child for all the things that I have done. Biological. He said, I won't say because you're my biological father, I take it for granted. Many don't have this privilege. They are watching you. They are watching you. And there are so many of us as fathers, you have abdicated responsibility. Nothing you bring. The woman struggles for everything and you want honor. Which honor? Which honor? And the honor. That's the way you take it. It's not, see, it's not every house that has foot mash that people drop their shoes on. It's not every house that has foot mash that people pull their shoes. When they look at the house, even without foot mash, somebody will go. There is a way a house is structured and expensive. No foot mash. You dare not put your shoes there. Because you know this one is beyond, is beyond your size. So you are, not, you, are not, you are not permitted to talk of honor. When you are not taking care of your children, especially this part of the world, South South, the irony, Southwest, the irony of people having so much children. There are children that started fending for themselves at 15, at 16. I was watching the series yesterday, and the little girl in America was just confessing her life. She's 21. She became a prostitute at 11. I say, Eleven, what? And I was listening to her story. She said she was raped at five. I said, What? It got to a point I couldn't watch it anymore. I had to stop it because it was very gory. The thing she was saying. At 20, now she's 21. She has seen everything about life. She has been messed up because of an absentee father. And he asked her a question, what do you have to say? He said, wherever my father is, may God not forgive him. He said, because if I had a father who was there to carry my body, to protect me. I wish I was communicating right now. Many people are taking care of themselves, and the father is proud. Look at, look at, look. And they were, they were proud about it. Look at her. She's taking care of herself. Are you not ashamed as a man? Carry the burden of your children. It doesn't matter the woman that comes in the way. That should not distract you. It doesn't matter the character of the mother. It doesn't matter what the mother has said, what the mother has done. No child should suffer for the, the action or the errors of the mother. Separate the offender from the offense. Separate the child from what the mother did. The child was not there when both of you had a clash. Take care of your child. Your child wants to ask you for school fees. He has to be praying so that you respond well. He wants to ask you for what, what is your responsibility. He has, to, he has to be begging. There are so many children who are listening to my voice around the world. If only they are, they are growing up, their father were a part of their life, their life would have been better. Life would have been better. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. 
There are many fathers who are in church who, who say they love God, they serve God, but they have abandoned their responsibility. You are a deacon in the house of God. Your children don't feed, yet you are eating. Deacon wizard. Your, your children don't feed and you are eating. You are eating, you are fending, you are taking care, you are looking good. When I see a man dressing well and the wife dressing her guard, I lose respect for him. When every man, and that's why I like the Igbos. The Igbos, they put their wife in front. And they put, put on an, 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 an short nicker with an an pause. Am I talking to somebody here? You ask the man, why are you not dressing well? Why are you not looking at him? But let the wife appear. You see the wife looking elegant, looking precious. That's how to live life. When people see your children, they should honor you. When people see your children appear, are you following what I'm talking about? But no, it's yourself. 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 You're over 60. You're still, you still behaving like a boy. You're dressing. You're dressing. 60 year old man. You're still doing guy. Oh, you, your children are littered about. 60 year old man. You still go to, to a baby salon. You shave your hair. You do everything. You. you. 60 year old man, you are doing manicure, pedicure. Your children are wasting. They have no, no, no bearing for life. Your children are your investments. You see, Apostle, you don't understand. If, they, if I trade them, they won't remember me. They don't have to remember you. They don't have to remember you. You are doing it because you are supposed to do it. They don't have to remember you. As a, as a spiritual father, I don't do things for people to remember me. When I, I do things because it's expected of me to do things. I invest in lives. I stand to support people. Am I talking to somebody here? Not because I expect you to remember me. There are things I can tell you God has used me to do for people around the air. And I don't even bother about it. My concern is let your life be comfortable. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? It's that's what's called responsibility. There are some people that are called pastors, but they can't be called fathers. Leave people with memories. Don't bother about benefits. Leave people with memories. Don't bear that about benefits. Some of you stood here the other day. A young man was talking about how he had an accident with his car. Blah, 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 blah happened. And God gave me a new car. And I just took the mic. I said to him, how, how much did that contribute to the car? And he mentioned some millions. And you're like, hey, those are silent things we do. Nobody's aware. Responsibility is the price of greatness. Be responsible. This, this mentality where father start dragging you, 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 are, you are confused. You any father talk. All these ones I'm doing for you, what will you do for me? What do they have to do for you? What will you do for me? Many of us looking at me right now, our biggest current challenge was because we missed it in fatherhood. The father was absent. You grew up with your mother and there was a little to which, what she can do. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. Fathers, take responsibility. Stand. Your child is sick. You should not sleep. Am I talking to somebody right now? You should not sleep. Your child.